So like we just stated, hypertension is increased blood pressure. Um, the main things you want to know is that, like what kind of lifestyle should you teach a hypertensive patient to live? Or to even prevent it? Exercise. Exercise, diet. just to increase circulation. Diet, what kind of diet? Low sodium. Low sodium, mm -hmm. Low cholesterol, right? You don't want to build up the plaque in the arteries. Um, just basically live a healthy lifestyle so that the arteries just keep elastic, keep able to bend. Um, the main thing you want to teach them too is that because they get like medications all the time, is that the med medication isn't curing it, it's just treating, it's just controlling it. So sometimes people on hypertensive medications will just quit their lifestyle changes because they think they're on medication and it should be fine. But it's actually huger to, like more effective to live a better lifestyle because that will help it not progress rather than medication. So basically what you want to know for that one, super easy, hypertension. And hypertension is 140 over 90. That's when it's classified. Okay. Good for number six. Should we go on to that one? Okay, this one's got a review. So you have six hearts or five heart sounds. What are they? Pulmonic. First one's aortic. It's on the right. And then you have pulmonic, or that's a P. Pulmonic. Herbs, tricuspid, and then mitral or a apical. So just know those, know where they are. Okay. That's just like our little review. And then, so what do you hear when you listen to, like, auscultate someone's heart? Lub dub. Lub dub, right? And what are those classified as? S1, S2. Perfect. So, in regards to extra heart sounds, where would S3 be? That's after, after S2. Yeah, and then S4? Before S1. Yeah, perfect. So in the test, they're probably going to ask you, what's the order of these? So make sure S4 goes before S1. Okay. So, do you know, okay, we'll start with S4. Okay. Do you know why S4 occurs? Like what it, what it is? Uh, not really. Okay, so it's an atrial gallop. And it's indicative of heart disease. The way that you can remember, oh, I, don't know, I don't really know why she puts these acronyms in here, but um, 10 is C. That's how you'd hear it. And also remember, usually you just have one of the heart sounds. You can't have both, but you want to have them together. This is for S4. Okay. So um, then you have S3 which is best heard with bell, like on your stethoscope, like the bell side, the smaller side. And that's why we go up after we listen to it with the bigger side, listen to it with the bell. So this one is similar, but it's a ventricular gallop. And if it's heard in children and young adults, what does that mean? It's OK, like it's normal. For children and teenagers? Yeah, young adults, yeah, normal. Um, what the sound is basically is just a rapid filling of the ventricle. Of the dilated ventricle. 